What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tommy Sotomayor. I want to talk about something that I've been talking about for a while now, but I feel like I must reiterate it. I must bring it back up. That's something that I want to talk about right now with you guys is a simple subject. Women, children, and how men should approach them. Now, I put a post on my Facebook page the other day, and for some reason, women got really mad. But it wasn't women. It was black women. The post was simple. I said, men, for your own safety and health, do not date women with children. I didn't specify black women. I just said women. That post lit up with comments. That post lit up with women saying, how dare you say that? I had people say that I was gay. I had people say that a real man knows how to step up and take care of responsibilities that aren't his. And yeah, that made me want to take out the bottle and give me a drink. But a lot of you have noticed that lately, it ain't taking much to get me to pull out a bottle and drink. So that being said, Mr. Moscato is back. Now, the comment that only a real man would be able to take care of somebody else's kids should make everyone laugh. Because what exactly does it mean to make you a real man? Have you ever noticed that amongst black circles, a real man is usually a simp? Someone who idolizes mediocre pizza. That's right. This guy is somebody who has a woman go through a whole lot in her life. A woman who's been drugged through the mud. And then he paid top dollar for it. More than the guy who drug her through the mud. The black community is kind of funny to me like that. Because we view women that the more stripes they have on them, of course, apparently they're better. Now, the women were really upset and they were saying, how could I say that? And then some of them said, well, you got a kid. How would you like it if somebody felt that way about you? I said, there are plenty of women who feel that way about me. There are plenty of women who won't holler at me because my hairline is going back. There are plenty of women who won't holler at me because I don't have enough money. There are women who have told me, you're not over six feet tall, so I'm not interested. And guess what I did? Nothing. Because she has the right to date whoever she wants to date. She has the right to like whatever she wants to like. But for some reason, when it comes to black men, they must accept anything that a black woman goes through. Because there were no white women or any other kind of women that were upset with the post. As a matter of fact, typically only hoes would get upset with a post like that. Because if you have a kid, that means you didn't take care of your own vagina. And it's not a real man's job to take care of your mess-ups, mishaps. And then some women came in and said, well, what if I was married? I think that's a different dynamic. But my whole point was this. I've been putting up a whole lot of videos about men who found themselves either killed by the ex-boyfriend or the ex-man, and I ain't talking about Wolverine, or they found their kids beaten and killed. All of this stuff based upon the fact that the moms are doing a piss poor job of picking their next dude. Notice you don't have this stuff happening with dudes. But women, if you don't want to date men with kids, I expect that too. If you're a woman and you haven't been reckless with your reproductive system, which is what it is. People like me who have kids, we've been reckless with our reproductive system. We've been reckless with how we have sex. We didn't care. And now we expect you to, I guess, think that we care or want to take better care of us than we took care of ourselves. I was reckless with my penis. I would stick that joke in a blender every day, put it on puree. So why would I look at a woman and get mad that this woman says, I don't want a dude that's been through what you've been through. She has the right to say that. Why would I think I'm going to take a personal affront to anyone who randomly posts, don't date men under six feet. Why would I go to that person's post and be upset? There were black women and every one of them had kids. Every one of them said that my comment was out of line, shallow, stupid. Some of them said I was gay. I have no idea what is gay anymore in the black community because it simply seems like you just don't agree with the person. 
But dating a woman with kids presents several problems. Let me explain. How many of you guys have dated a woman with kids and realized you cannot go out with that woman whenever you want to go out because she need a babysitter? How many of you guys have been able to go out with a woman anytime you damn want and she got kids? Because she don't care about a babysitter. She'll even leave them kids at home while she go out to get her hair done and burn the house down and kill the kids. I don't say no names, but it has happened. If you are a mother and I can get a hold of you at any time and see you at any time, that's a problem. If you are a mother and I can't get a hold of you and see you anytime, that also is a problem. I don't want to raise another man's seed. Black men are the only men on the planet who are typically always raising somebody else's kid. Think about the Lion Kingdom. In the Lion Kingdom, if a lion comes into a pride and he sees that, well, the lioness has little cubs, I'm going to come in and get the lioness. And guess what I'm going to do with the lion, the, the lion cubs? Yeah, I'm going to offer them. See, a lion will go ahead and take care of them because he knows those are not his kids and they may grow up to cause a problem. Now, I've dated women with kids, and let me tell you something. The majority of the time, it wasn't pleasant. I don't want to have to deal with your baby daddy coming by and calling any time of night talking about some my kid is dead. I don't want to have to look every day when I wake up in the morning to see your kid and be reminded that another dude was here. He might as well wrote Brooks was here on your pizza. I don't want to see that. I don't want to know about his Shawshank Redemption. But that's what you get when you date a woman. And then she has a son. The son grows up to look just like that dude. You got a daily reminder of the dude who used to just... This what you got? And you think this is okay. I don't want that. I don't think that's cool. I don't need that on my resume. But a lot of men can. A lot of men do. But... Other races of people, including the animal kingdom, takes pride in producing their own children. Not us as black folks. Black women get to randomly throw pizza around to anybody at CC's. You get a slice, everybody can get a slice of their pizza. Reproducing kids all day. And then what happens? It's your job to straighten her up. Make her an honest woman, as one woman who had kids said. I'm so thankful for my husband because he took on my kids and made me an honest woman. Well, you was a liar before you met him? You was a cheat? Explain this honest woman thing. And I can't make you that. I want a woman that's honest when I first meet her. Now, you listen to these stories about what these women do to even get these kids. Most of these kids aren't even wanted. The person just laid up with somebody and had a kid and they can't stand that dude. And you supposed to be with this chick now and think she won't treat you that way? I think there are just too many problems that go along with dating a woman with kids. Now, there are exceptions to every rule. And don't listen to me because I post something, which is weird. Women think that because I post something, men gonna go lockstep, lockstep, just gonna be like, Tommy said, I'm gonna do it. That's stupid. Some of the stuff I say, I don't even do. There are things that I say that to me make quite, they make good sense. That doesn't mean people are gonna do them. Women, if you had a son and your son was 25, and he had just got his doctorate, medical doctor degree. He's starting to be a doctor at some hospital, getting famous. And he dated a woman that's got two kids by three dudes. Are you going to be okay with him? He have no kids, and that's who he dated, that chick. What if your son is LeBron James, and he dated a chick who got two kids by four dudes? Are you going to be okay with that? See, I give information that I would give to my kid, not information I would give to you whores and you dudes who sleep with whores. Y'all can do whatever you want to do. But I give good advice because it's good advice. And the best way for us to start a black community, a strong one, is for men to be with the women who they have kids by. Am I with them? Nope. Is that the point? Yes. Look at me. I ain't shit either. That's the point. Only dudes that ain't shit will sit around and sleep with women who got kids by other people. You're, especially if you're a young man and that's the problem the reason so many black women stood up and started complaining because it's most black girls by the time they reach 19 they got a kid 20 something they got two mid 20s they got three so of course they felt offended by me putting up a post saying men don't date women with kids but men have rights just like women do women can date men with three kids no kids good job a bad job tall short rich poor 
Women can say whatever they like in men. Nobody has a problem. So it's time for men to be able to do the same thing. Dating a woman with kids is a headache. I tell you what, I dated a woman that had two kids one time. We went to McDonald's. The fucking bill was like 80 bucks. I ain't paying no 80 bucks to eat at McDonald's. Can't go to a Six Flags with them. Cost too damn much. Can't go to, I took my daughter to um, Disney World. Disney World is expensive. You think I'm going to take you and your two kids too? Nope. Your kid, you're going to be mad at me because every time we go to Disney World, I'm leaving y'all at home. Every time we go to eat a nice steak dinner, a day ain't coming. Now, you're going to say that's messed up. No, it ain't. It's my money. I'm not spending it on somebody else's seat. Every time we get ready to go to Disney World, you better call their daddy. If their daddy ain't paying, I'm not paying. And see how that sounds? See how messed up that is? Because it's that messed up, maybe we could all just be more responsible with our reproductive systems and say, unless I plan on being with him slash her, I'll protect myself. And it just shows me how irresponsible a woman is because she got like 31 damn flavors of birth control. Baskin Robbins is envious of all the ways that a woman can, get, can stop having a baby. Then even if they don't do that, they can do stuff afterwards. You have no excuse to have a baby by a dude you ain't with or don't plan on being with. Come on now. So that's all I'm saying. Now I want to see how much hate I get on this. And for any woman who has a problem with this idea of men who don't have kids, shouldn't they win? I got them and I still don't want them. Anybody who has a problem with that? Please give me a real good reason, not because I'm black as hell and ashy and crispy, not because I'm gay. No, give me a good reason why you would encourage a man to date a woman who has kids by somebody else. Other than that, I'm out.